Yo, Vaisant here. So in this video, I want to go over my Raging Chaos Monk build. It's a lot different, but similar to my campaign Chaos Monk build. There are a lot of improvements and changes that I did in the skill gem and the skill tree. And uh, my direction of which I went when I talked about in the previous video, in the campaign Chaos Monk video. And so this build mostly had to do with more like going in and out. And then going back in, doing the damage, and it's gonna ramp up. So this character kind of ramp up. It starts up slower because you had to build in combos, and then the resistance is uh, shredding, and then it'll get stronger, especially when you put two bells. And it's very gear dependent because it's mostly tied to physical damage, and then chaos, and converting that physical portion portion of the physical into chaos. And then that chaos has all your modifiers and stuff. And uh, you'll see later that there's a lot of places where chaos is spread out on the skill tree. And you kind of have to pick and choose because you're kind of limited in skill points. Um, and this video, I'm going to talk about my skills and the changes that I did and the support gems. And then I'm going to go into passive skill tree. And then I'm going to go into my gear this time. Last time I didn't talk too much about my gear. This time I'm going to explain more about the gear as I'm playing. And more of the, the focus of my gear. And then the direction of this build. Going forward, getting more skills, skill slot, getting more levels. I'm only like level 73 right now. Um, so I'm not into super, super late game. Like where my build is more concrete and i still haven't done a sentence ascension three or four yet because i've just been busy grinding atlas <laughs> trying to get levels and just concentrate on that let's start off with my spirit buffs so by the end of act three cruel mode you have 100 spirit and i'm running these three ghost dance wind dancer and withering presence so i have ghost dance what it does is that you get a stack or a stack of shroud every three seconds or so and then when you get hit you recover base you recover your energy shield based on your invasion so this is just like a safety measure a lot of these are very defensive um because by the time you get to the end game stuff you want to play more defensively just to be safe because when you die in the map uh if, if there's a buff on there you lose it and then you also lose your map so if you get a good one that gives you like a lot of item rarity and whatnot it sucks to lose it i swear and then we have wind dancer this is the main buff that you want though and this is the under the ranger class every second or so you get a stack of this and then each stack gives you extra invasion so this kind of go hand in hand with this to be honest um and when you get hit it removes all the stacks and it does like a gale force all right and then we have withering presence and since i'm a chaos monk um you you want wither on them and wither pretty much this shreds their chaos resistance so it's pretty much take extra five percent or seven percent if you got in the passive tree that i'll show you later seven percent and then it stacks up to ten times um and then this happens within your presence every two seconds so for the support gems for ghost stand i have skill duration you can put this in wind dancer to have it get the stack faster too but wind dancer ha have more options for gem slot because it doesn't attack this one doesn't so i'm putting this here and i have clarity here you can put this under winning presence as well if you want um lot, right now spirit gems don't have that many support gems unfortunately so you you're gonna have to do what you will uh you can also use vitality if you feel like it, if you're missing that life if you want more life instead of mana if you get, have a lot of mana regen on your gear and whatnot you can go with this so for the wind dancer though i'm running so deep so when i do get hit and it does attack i get mana back so i have a lot of stuff that i want to make sure i have mana i just want to make sure i got the mana part down <laughs> and i have withering touch here um i don't use this for damage okay so i use this for knocking them away so if i get hit it knocks them back right this gale force knocks them back so it could allow me to get out of the way get out of the mob whatnot and this puts another stack of wither on top of them 
So if they hit me, they get that, and then I do even more damage. All right, to the meat of the build is Tempest Bell and Whirling Assault. I feel like if you don't have the Tempest Bell in your build right now in early access, uh, I don't know if they're going to change it or whatnot. Your build is going to be kind of bad because Tempest Bell is just so broken. I tried to just use Hand of Chikula. Maybe I'll still try it later just to see how it is when I like had to... This costs a lot of money to respec. So maybe when I get enough money or they lower the cost, I'll re try to respec everything into uh, just maining my Hand of Chikula. But for now, Tempest Bell just is way better. It just hits way more often, right? Yeah, DPS is higher for the Hand. But Tempest Bell just hits so much often because of how fast the Whirling Assault does. Um, the reason why I'm using Whirling Assault compared to Tempest Fury, uh, they both have downtimes on their last hit kind of thing. But Whirling Assault builds up combo way faster. So it's all about the combo, not the damage. Okay. Yes, it does damage too. But it's all about getting that combo. And you want physical damage too because of the life leech. If you're using Tempest Fury, some of it is converted to elemental. And you don't want that. Okay, you want physical. So that's why I'm running this. And Tempest Bell is the big bulk of your damage. Okay, that's the big bulk. Uh, so Whirling Assault, I'm running temp more in Martial Temple, so it attacks even faster. And I'm running Practice Combo because I'm just using it to build combo. Uh, the chance that I even build. Sometimes I'm just missing one, sometimes I'm missing a two. This gives you extra hit, and it's per hit. Uh, and I'm running Rage. So this is where the Raging Chaos comes in. I do so many hits in a short amount of time that I just build up Rage like crazy. So I have this. <laughs> Building into this. Uh, I have future plans to use this Rage. But I'm limited by slots. So we got to pick what we choose, right? But each Rage gives you 1% attack bonus. So this is where the ramp part of the ramp up keeps coming in. You keep Whirling Assault, you build up attack damage, and this affects everything. And also, the ramp up from this, every few seconds, you just put the, the Chaos Melt on them. Right? So, it just keeps stacking up, and it winds up, and you, you build more combos. And then we get to the Tempest Bell. We have Magnify Effect. Um, I'm not using the other AoE one, because that has a cooldown. Uh, I want to place as many bells as I can, right? So, the whole point is just drop the bell, and go BAM. Right, and overpower is to have more stun build up. I'm using stun stuff armor brave because I like the chaos control. And it, when there's a mob around me, and then I activate the bell, um, it stuns them right instead of hitting me. Because then I could get, I could get stunned. I stun them first. <laughs> that's what that's about. And then I'm also running overabundance. This allows you to have two bells, uh, but they last less longer but you hit so fast you hit i hit so fast like 16 hits 18 hits whatever um that i don't even need the full duration so that's great and to support this bell as well we have the mantra of destruction this is this is your main conversion to chaos damage uh you have the skill tree that does it passively this one does it on top it, it adds on 30% of that damage of whatever the next attack that happens after you cast this buff. It'll convert that to chaos and it would do chaos damage and get all the chaos buffs. Um, if you didn't know as well that it, whatever the empower attack happens, like whatever, whenever you do that empower attack, you also get a flame of Chikula per hit. So, if you use it on a bell, and then you hit the bell, the bell will hit everything around you multiple times because, you know, it's there. It's persistent, kind of persistent. And you get Flame Dredge Cooler with every hit. So, you can build up your stacks just like this. Uh, we're out into the breach. Um, it's nice to have into the breach. I'm currently not getting it. right. I don't have it right now. But I do plan to get it. Okay. Just because of this extra flame that I get on top of it, so I want that double effect on top of this. Okay. So that's that's this is for supporting the bell. So this makes the bell even buffer. And on top of the mantra, I actually have another 50% damage increase on it. Um, there's no other really support gems for this mantra buff that goes very well. Um, there's one where you can't get stunned and whatnot. But I cast it right before I do the damage. 
yes, it lasts for like eight seconds or so, but I use the or it, but it says until your next attack. So I use the buff and I drop the bell right away. So it doesn't last long enough for any of the still build up. So I just got the calling strike just to kill the mobs. Um, there's a lot of empty spaces in the the monitor section. So hopefully they add more and I can use something else. But this doesn't need any more slots right now because there's nothing really to put in there. Next, we have our uh, movement skills. So we have one to get up to the enemy and then we have one to step back on the enemy. So in the beginning, you probably want to do this hand as you up because the hand as you actually apply curses and marks on hit. Uh, yes, it'll be weakened, but they can't evade it and it does chaos damage. So that's going to get all your chaos buffs on top of it. So the main one you want is despair. This re this is shreds the resistance. Um, I think it lowers to like twenty something percent, but by base is thirty percent. So this is just for buffing all your chaos stuff. All right. So this is the main one that you want. Uh, I'm not putting any other marks or anything. There is a curse limit. There's a mark limit. Um, this build I'm not going towards that section. Uh, that's kind of far from where I'm going towards that you'll see in the later. But this is. So you just want that one. You just put this. This is the main support. Is to buff up everything else that you do, and it's your pretty much your your starting move, right? You just use it to get up there, or you could just rolling assault your way in. That's what I do sometimes. And then we have chaos infusion. Uh, the support tap, uh, twenty five percent of it is converted to extra chaos damage, and every non chaos, fifty percent left. It does chaos, right? It just straight up only does chaos, anyways. It does, I don't think it does any physical. I tried. Uh, and so this is just extra 25%. No brainer, right? Then I just have Chaos Mastery here. Um, you can put this here or there, to be honest. But I wanted more damage on this. I think this just increases like 1%. Not too bad. Um, but there's not many options in this anyways. And I had an extra slot here. Because I was playing around with marks and stuff. Uh, so I wanted to do slightly more damage just to get myself in there. And that's that. That's the the closing. Unfortunately, when you do this move and there's no monster, it doesn't dash you forward. I wish it would just do even like a slight dash. But it is what it is. Now, our, our jump back move is the Wave of Frost. Um, you can use Frozen Nexus too, but I want to hit uh, for the reason of my support gems so this actually is for the breeze build up as well it's mostly just used for support i don't really use this for damage and this is pretty much just to like get out of the way kind of thing so i have more fuse breeze build up to add on top of this and then i have blind so this is the main use that i use for it i mostly build around invasion this just makes them worse i make the enemy worse right so they can't hit me even more so I usually hit in, I jump back, I do wave frost, and then jump in again. So it's like in, out, and then go back in. Uh, sometimes I don't have the luxury of doing that. And sometimes I just start the combo of just not putting down the bell and whatnot. But you'll see. Uh, and then I have frost nexus. So if I somehow do freeze them with this breeze build up, it just put a chilly ground. This is just all support stuff. Okay. Uh, so that's my main skill stuff. And then I also have... Bolting impact, I don't really use this at all. Um, I mostly only use this if, let's say, a monster's behind the door and the door is closed. You can cheese the freaking room and just hit through the wall, and that this AoE will hit them behind the wall. All right, that's what that's for. And I also use it as support with Holy Descend, right? I'll put a ground of uh, uh, regen, and your curses uh, get reduced. So it's mostly support if I'm playing with someone or I just want to just put it down for the heck of it. And I have Fist of War because I don't use it that often. So it's going to get buffed. And the main one of the reasons why I use this is that you can actually jump over enemies. And so if I need to leave right away and I'm like surrounded and for some reason I panic, I can panic but to this. Or if I can't get to my bell because uh, then they push me away there's so much collision pushing in here they push me away i need to jump back to the bell i use this i hit the bell the bell will activate aoe for like a slight stun or whatever and then i can start whamming on the bell so that's that skill tree all right here's the quick overview of what my skill tree looks like currently 
and let's go into the ascendancy so usually people go into the breach right but i have macho destruction i get the flame of shakula already right just by doing the mantra destruction so i didn't really go into this and i went to mana leech uh i'm not sure if it's actually working it feels like it's still slow or is a bug i don't know it doesn't feel instant that that's one thing uh i'm thinking about here uh and i'm not planning to go this because i do dodge a lot and stuff like that so i uh, some most of the time i don't get hit in like two seconds and then it recharges uh there's some other nodes that get faster recharge that i may or may not want uh and so that might go into our time in this uh i'm a gotcha player i like the rng is some of my hits so i went for this personally but in the end i do want to get these two and then all the way down here and get the double flame of chifula um and i can still get i can still get extra flames right while i'm at it uh, might as well pick it up and I'm just going to do those eight since we only got eight points. So I was going to do that and this and then up to here. So let's go into this. Uh, I could go invasion and stuff, but I wanted skill speed. Personally, I like the skill speed and damage and get up to here, flow like water. And then I got some invasion and max energy shield here. And then I continued that skill tree up to here. And I went down here and I fill up this whole circle for more invasion and energy energy shield and recharge and stuff like that and then we went down right um most of the attribute stuff is whatever your, your gear needs whatever you need you change it however you want and then i went for this note for man i didn't get the extra one because i wanted the extra point to put it somewhere else uh but i went i went into here into this because i want the attack damage and the chance to blind says so sometimes i just can't put the wave of frost so i just have a chance here to blind them too just to be safe. Then I wait up here because Hand of Chihula does cost a lot of stamina and mana. And I want other, other moves to be cheaper. So I just got the mana cost of this. Um, and then we went straight into this one. Into attack. I went into this. Into this one. Most of the time I have full shields. Or no shields. But I still have some HP. Uh, I have life leech. Right. So uh, most of the time I'm full. Uh, where occasion I'm low. And then I gain it back. So that's the killer instinct. I uh, got more mana leech here. And mostly for the energy shields. What I went for here. And then from here. I went straight up to this. No actually no. I kept going. Because the main objective. Is to get this chaos node right here. Pure chaos. Because then it straight up. Just makes all your damage gain extra chaos. And then you're gonna, just going to get a lot of chaos stuff. Right. So I got that. And then I went up here, and then I got this chaos, ex extra chaos damage. It's mostly just for the extra chaos damage here. The skill duration is nice and all, but it's mostly just for that. And then I made my way around here to get the chaos damage and increased defenses. And defenses, if you don't know, it's for armor, shield, and evasion. So all of them. So you just get the 10% bonus to all of that. So that's that's pretty good. And then from there, I made my way down, and I got this one, plus one to all chaos skills. So the Mantra, and Hannah Chikula, and Withering Presence, all chaos skills will get buffed from this. And I made my way down here, and I got this. I didn't want to knock back, because I want them to stay on the bell. If I knock them back, then they're not hit by the bell, right? So I just stopped there, but I want the attack speed, and I'm mostly getting this for the decks. Uh, but then the accuracy and the critical damage bonus is also nice, but I'm not going crit, right? I go down here. I'll go over my jewels later. So we got one jewel socket here. I got another jewel socket here. Uh, but then I mostly went down for this because what you want to concentrate on is mostly invasion energy shields. And then you're going to double that. Yeah, at least the invasion part with this. And then I got this just for gear purposes. <clears throat> and right after that i got i went into this for the mana taken because i am mana leeching right uh i do want to get this for the intelligence and the damage taking will be taken from mana since mine over matter is hella far and i'm actually in this part of the tree uh this is the next best thing right and i don't i don't get the reduction of mana regen because when I, when I actually went over there and used it, 
My mana regen wasn't fast enough. Since I post most of my stuff in the mana leech. Alright, my gems here are this one's pretty good, right? I want you want to go invasion, accuracy, and anything with quarter staff. Uh up here I just have uh, I did use this for mana regen and energy shield recharge. I do want to replace this because I don't use any spells. And the future plan is to finish this up, right? Uh, get this, get more evasion and energy shield. And then get energy shield for every evasion on my body armor, which I'm already aiming for. And then this one will give you 30% invasion if you have been hit recently. So that's helpful. And obviously, if you got stun, energy, shield, recharge. And then from there, uh, I'm going to go and get this socket. And then get this, 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 and this. And stop right there. I have energy, shield. Re I mean, energy. I have regen and stuff like that. So it's not too bad. I only use the mantra in the hand. I don't use the hand too much. It just is like a startup or a dash in, but the mantra is getting used a lot. So that's the only thing that can be careful with this, but 50% is a lot of damage. So I'm going to get there and try it out. Uh, and then the last few points I plan is to go up to here and then get this one. Chaos, 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 and then curse deal minus three resistance. I mean, if they're cursed, they, they take 3% more damage. So that's that for the skill tree. All right, let's look at gear. Um, gear is obviously going to be situational and RNG of what you find. But there are some concentrations you want, right? You want life leech, mana leech. Anything that gives like life leech, mana leech, right? And you want to, you want resistances. So since you can't really dodge much, um, try to get as much as you can. I still lacking some resistances uh, per se. But um, since you can't really dodge spells, you want to have a lot of resistances. But the main thing is that the weapon, you want a lot of physical damage. So, and then if you can get melee skills, that's even better. That's pretty much all, almost all your skills. Except for like, Withering Presence. And Wind Dancer. Nope, that, that's the melee too. So, you're getting buff for all that. This one, just get the Chaos one. Uh, oh, okay, so Ghost Dance. And Withering Presence is the only one that's not melee. So if you can get the melee one, uh, all to you. And then I personally am running the physical damage to get more physical damage stuff. I look at the soul cores. Most of it is like elemental stuff. And maybe like on kill. I don't want to deal on kill, especially if you're fighting a boss. You know, I want for hit. So we're just going to go for more damage, which converts to more chaos. Okay. So the main bulk is that you want invasion and energy shields on here. You gotta have both. Uh, I tried with full invasion and then too low of an energy shield. You get hit by a spell. It's kind of kind of rough. Uh, I got lucky with the corruption. It gave me more invasion and energy shield. Uh, I'm still looking for something better. I should have actually increased the quality first before corrupting it. Uh, but it was during that uh, Act 3 map thing and then I corrupted it. And I'm running also more invasion and energy shields. Um, maybe you could put in a soul core in here. I haven't looked at the defensive ones, but I like more invasion, so that's what I'm going with. Uh, I'm using this glove for the mana leech mostly and the energy shield. I do want invasion on this personally. Uh, energy shield is kind of low on this, so it can do what you will. And uh, I'm mostly just wearing it for the Mana Leech. So I have Mana Leech and Life Leech on this ring. I just equip this on. I'm probably going to be buffing this and the weapon. This one I'm wearing for the Mana Leech and the Chaos Damage. So if you can get Chaos Damage or anything too, that's great. Okay. Uh, belt is whatever. Whatever works. This shoe's got to have movement speed, okay? Movement speed number one. Invasion energy shields on this one too. So mostly anything you get evasion, energy shield, or just evasion. But your armor has to have evasion and energy shield because that's where the big bulk is at. I'm personally running this give you energy shield. You can also run the solar amulet if you want more spirit to have. Um, that's like slightly more buff and stuff. You don't necessarily need it. Uh, I'm mostly just concentrating on resistances, energy shield, mana regen. And that's pretty much it. For the sockets, it's whatever resistances that you're missing. Just put it in there. 
Um, we got this, this. Only, only the armor, the big bulk. So you put uh, iron rune on this one. And that's pretty much basically your gear. I'm running freeze. Uh, freeze is like the bane because you just can't move, and then you're just stuck there. Uh, a lot of the other ones you can still move, so it's not too bad. Obviously, the flash you gotta have charges per second, so you don't have to worry about it no more. Just in general, if you don't have charges per second, don't use it. My personal experience. Okay. All right, we're in the atlas here. And I just want to explain how things kind of work. You can do that. You can blind them if there's a mob, right? You put that 100% blind just to make sure things, and then you put up combo, roll out the way. Put down the, you put the mantra, and then you hit the bell, and everything just gets deleted. It does take some time. You can just straight up just start in this. If they actually live long enough, um, you can actually build more combo and put in another mantra and bell. Alright, I got up to tier 5 and it didn't draw me enough waste stones. So I had to go back down and farm it up again. Sometimes you put the bell, you can't get to it, right? Sometimes and you just drop this. Bong! It doesn't it depends how fast you can do it. <laughs> Put that buff there, put some blind. Buff, boom. The spine are rare, yeah. Sometimes you just want to put the bell. See if you that energy shield. Oh man, that would have been dangerous. <laughs> you can even just keep comboing like this and building hit combos if you don't want to jump in and then you have a belt then you build it up and then have it up again <laughs> and then my bell my the bell does ex combo does expire quite fast so you gotta be careful like i don't sometimes you just can't don't have enough like you're off by one on the bottom right here you can see uh if you're off by like one for the mantra then just put the bell it's fine you can build a combo right after. It's not like the end of the world. There's a lot of mobs there. And you can keep comboing. Once you get a bell down, it starts ramping up. <laughs> you find a rare? Let me just get in there. Alright, you need that one more hit. Oh no, I missed. I pressed R. I don't know. Sometimes this doesn't come out. Think you do another one? Oh, it's already did. <laughs> All right. I found a boss. Ah crap. Come on, you were dead. 